Hello, welcome to this pick a card or pick a crystal. This is going to be a little bit different, you can tell already. So we are going to do, what does your person want to say to you? We have three piles and you get to pick a crystal. We do have the rose quartz here, we do have an amethyst and then we do have this pretty, I think it's called like a rainbow quartz. So you pick one, two and three and we will see what messages your person has for you. I'm going to use the Power Animal Oracle cards, the Whispers of Love deck, the Psychic Tarot. Unfortunately, it's like all vice versa right now, reverse, and the um, Romans Angels. If you want to have links to those decks, you can check them out below. But let's start, okay? Let's start with pile number one, the rose quartz. What does your person want to tell you? Let me check. I haven't shuffled yet, but we will see. The first one already came out. We will see what we get. While I'm shuffling, I would like to remind you that I do have another channel. It is called Magic Soul Ascension Coaching. And in that we do Twin Flame Astrology. So if you're interested in that, in Twin Flame Astrology, Soulmate Astrology, of course, as well, or in general, Divine Counterpart Astrology. And also it is about coaching and as well as, yeah, I do have a lot of Twin Flame coaching, a Twin Flame playlist, but also about manifesting. And I do have a special coming up soon. I'm going to film an entire free seminar about how to manifest union with your Twin Flame. So check out the other channel. Something's itching me here. So you won't miss it. And there's going to be a free seminar and then there's going to be an extended seminar. For the free seminar, there's going to be like one video per week and you can purchase instant access then to all videos and longer videos, extended videos, additional videos and meditations and a workbook that is going to be for sale. But all of the vital information will, of course, be in the free um, seminar. Oh, okay. Also, I do have a special offer for this you got some interesting cards already i'm going to talk about them now i'm going to take the power animal cards we're going to have a special offer this june now for a energy checkup between you and your person and it's going to be 20 dollars for 15 minutes so this is a special price if you're interested make sure you book it because this is yeah only in june this june oh okay then we're going to do the ah, this is a beautiful deck isn't it so let's see what does your person want to tell you oh that's too many spirits okay i'm sensing i'm supposed to get the one on top but there's like a whole bunch that flew out that's way too many we want some more but not all at once okay getting the top one again but that was too many spirits this one okay and the romans angels and then we're going to start with your message oh i dropped one i always keep on dropping them it's the playfulness card yay but the problem is when i'm going to bash you see all of that chaos in my bag <laughs> I'm a bit of a messy person, strong Aquarius energy. And Uranus in the sixth house. So I have the planet of chaos in the planet of yeah, the Virgo house, you know, being neat and everything. So, okay. <laughs> What's your person's message for the pile rose quartz? Okay, let's see what we've got. I'm going to show you what we've got. I haven't seen all of them. We got the Ace of Swords, Triumph and Success. I'm sorry that you cannot read that, unfortunately. We've got Sacrifice, which would be the Hanged Man in this deck. We got Rest and Rejuvenate, the Four of Cups, Cups, I believe. We got Awareness, which is the Magician. Oh, look, very, um, I like the Awareness. We have one, one, the Awareness completely fits with the Ace of Swords to get rid of my cable here we got the badger oh, sorry a possum strategy have a backup plan then we got antelope decisiveness 
Make a decision and take appropriate action. Oh wow, this is very fitting. Badger, perseverance. Dig it in and see it through completion. We've got honesty is essential. Somebody is wearing a mask, as you can see. And it says, to be a loving person, it is important that we speak truthfully and in a loving manner. Then we have consider your foundation. You are being asked to look at how committed you are to love. And then show simple acts of kindness. A simple act of kindness can energize you and bring happiness to those around you. And then we do have playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to of fun to shine. We got honeymoon, lighthearted energy. Enjoy the hol holiday place time together. We've got children and we got unrequited love. There's not enough energy to, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this um, relationship going. Don't worry about that. I don't see it as unrequited love. I just often see it as there's not the right energy in order to attract that person to come in yet. And the rest is of the cards is kind of like um, saying the same thing. Because right now you are in this phase of resting and rejuvenation. This is not a bad phase. It is just telling you about yeah, taking your time. And we have with possum, a possum strategy, have a backup plan. At the same time, we have make a backup plan and awareness. Being truthful about what you want. We do have... The Ace of Swords, Triumph and Success, which is also talking about some kind of epiphany or awareness. And then with the Sacrifice card, it's the Hanged Man. We do have the Ray of Light coming in. You know, it's the, uh, how do you call it? Rainbow um, in coming into her Crown Chakra. So we got strong Crown Chakra energy here. You see it's lit up there. So this is a time to really connect with your higher self and to know what do I want because some of you may not know what you want and that is of course something that your person is mirroring back to you why am I saying you may not know what you want because we have two cards that talk about some kind of um, epiphany or decision that needs to be made and then we have two cards no it's the unrequited love for some reason I saw it as a deception card Look, it's unrequited love, but he's kissing her hand. This is weird. Well, she's looking away. She doesn't like it. But um, again, I, I simply see this as this is not enough attraction because right now it's a time to rest and rejuvenate. It's not a time wow. for action. Time for action is going to come because with this card, we also have make a decision. And what I'm feeling is that your energy is kind of like scattered. You may send out energy to... The universe like, yes, I want to be this person, but then you're thinking like, oh, but they're absent or maybe you're doubting or oh, they don't want me. And that scattered energy will keep you kind of like trapped because you're sending out energy to the universe. I want to be connected with this person and the universe gives you that. But then at the same time, you're sending out the energy of, but they're not there. And that's what you get then. They're not there. So it's time that you take off your mask and be honest about what you want. And by honest, I also get be precise and clear. And I just saw the most cutest thing. Do you see there's like a little, I'm trying to focus, a little tiny, um, focus, please focus. No. It's like a cupid. It's like an angel with the bow and arrow. Why is it not focusing? It's like a baby angel. It's a baby angel and it has a bow and an arrow. It's okay. It's not for you just have to believe me. <laughs> so there is some kind of love. So even for some of you, maybe your person, if it's a new connection, then I get that maybe your person hasn't really fallen in love yet but they are about to fall in love with this bow and arrow and with the epiphany that they become aware like oh yes you are my person i'm finally realizing that it is you that i want and then they're going to make a decision to step forward so with this card i'm getting like for some of you if this is a new connection they ha they haven't figured it out yet that they have emotions for you 
also with considered foundation you are being asked to look at how committed you are to love they are not yet not yet but then they are going to be yeah this is mainly what i'm sensing even if you already know and you're in separation what i'm sensing is that your person is taking a step back and they're not really realizing about how much they do like you but we have so many cards about talking about some kind of epiphany the ace of swords is an epiphany we've got here the rainbow it's like some kind of epiphany we got the awareness becoming aware of something is some kind of epiphany we have make a decision which also means you you get clear about something and honesty can also talk about i am honest i realize something and honesty is yes i be on, um, honest to myself and i don't try to oppress what i'm feeling any longer and consider your foundation i can read it as like uh, realizing yes i can be with you and i kind of like want to be with you you're being asked to look at how committed you are to love and all of a sudden they see wait there is some sense of commitment i could have commitment with this person with you and that is something that they're realizing slowly they're not there yet of course some of you may be at different parts but make sure that you don't try to push this person in any way because we got the honey honeymoon and playfulness and both cards talk about some light-hearted energy this is what they kind of need they need to have also with children and it could be literally children but children we also get like this inner child like-hearted energy and this is the way to get them to awaken their heart to get this tiny cupid that is sitting on that rose to shoot its bow at them so that they take off their mask and they finally reveal themselves because that is what they want ultimately what i'm sensing is like in both of these images we have the woman kind of like turning away but the woman it doesn't have to be you it's like i'm sensing it's like one person didn't see what was there they weren't aware and if it's someone from your past then they thought that maybe it was over but then they're realizing no it was not over it was just resting but there is going to be this new beginning coming and yeah we show simple act of kindness it says simple act of kindness can energize you and bring happiness to those around you so again we do have this light-hearted energy coming in so just be you be light-hearted don't try to push it in any way you will get them by being happy and in light frequency because nobody wants to fall in love with a grumpy person right nobody does we like we feel drawn and attracted to people that make us feel good so it's important for you to step into this kind of energy so your person will feel good and then they will have a plan to step forward have a backup plan and perseverance dig through and see it to come to through completion this is also telling you that if you think oh my god nothing is happening with, because the hanged man can also talk about some kind of a standstill if that is what you think then this is no don't give up stay perseverant but not by pushing them not by trying to make them do anything but also you manifest remember be clear on what you want and that needs to be the energy you send out to the universe and again in my other channel i do talk about manifesting and how to manifest even though i don't have the twin flame class up yet i was talking about i still ha already have videos on different um yeah techniques on manifesting on how to manifest your person so be precise on what you want the universe thinks you want what you constantly think about if you think of them as being absent that is what the universe will give you until you change that so be precise with what you want maybe you want to do scripting or visualization it doesn't matter but i don't think this is true unrequited love i think you're just not in the energy yet to really really attract them in but you need to persevere no this is just resting and this person is going to have this click and who is manifesting that you because once you are in this right energy you know law of attraction this light-hearted playful children energy that is the energy where all of a sudden they will click and then they will come and they will pursue you 
so yeah this is what i have for you it's a nice pile please drop a comment below if you like this kind of reading where you actually see me or if you prefer the other way i'm still most likely going to do the other way but maybe occasionally i am going to do it like this so please let me know and anyway i do see you in another video or of course i do see you in a personal coaching until then i wish you all the best now bye, -bye. pile number two the amethyst pile number two let's see what does your person want to tell you and i'm going to shuffle until some cards fall out okay and while i'm shuffling i would also like to remind you of my other channel masik soul ascension coaching also you can find me on instagram and lately on tiktok <laughs> and on facebook as well and connect with me but my other channel magic soul ascension coaching it is about twin flame and um, divine counterpart astrology so if you're into astrology and you want to find out when it comes to astrology is your person your twin flame or what kind of soul connection you may have check out my other channel also it is about twin flame coaching and divine counterpart coaching or in general coaching and manifesting as well and i am planning a video on we got three cards already oh, i'm planning not a video a course on how to manifest union with your twin flame so if you're interested in that then contact me because no you don't contact me you subscribe to my other channel it is going to be a free class i'm going to upload one video per week and i'm going to teach you everything like the shadow work you need to do in order to manifest um law of attraction assumptions different techniques on manifesting your twin flame and all of that and then there will be an extended version of that where you don't have to wait for one video per week you can purchase instant access to all of them and extended videos additional videos additional meditations and a workbook and there will be a better version that is going to be an offer for the first couple of weeks so make sure you find the other channel so you don't miss out on that special offer but if you don't want to purchase it it's okay there's going to be a free version that will have all of the vital information as well also of course you can reach out for coaching huh? interesting cards you've got some interesting ones <laughs> and also i do have a special offer only this month in june it is 20 you 20 dollars for 15 minutes of an energy checkup so if you're interested in that it is a special offer only this month and you can reach out of course i'm also available for coaching is there another one no that's too many this one okay so let's see what you've got Well, you got a lot of angel cards well no they're just four but okay okay there is some you have some good cards but you have some that are a little bit darker so don't worry we're going to talk about that we've got the discordant and boredom card which would be the four of cups i believe we got the nine of swords which would be suffering in silence we've got the eight of swords trapped in fear we got six of swords moving on then you've got dear pathfinder trust your instincts to guide you through the situation which makes perfect sense with these darker cards right so don't worry as i said you don't have to worry another amazing card you have is eagle um, spirit trust your higher self which is another card that is talking about guidance then it's getting yeah oh cougar confidence be bold and take a charge we've got a nice one the squirrel preparation get ready for big changes mix in with the moving on card right so don't worry about that we've got oh interesting yeah fitting we've got love and doors and it says love does not give up or lose faith love is hopeful and withstands every situation good one isn't it 
There we go, 39. Be authentic to who you are. You are asked to be real and true pertaining to who you are and how you feel. It's beautiful, this image, right? And then we've got, I need a little bit more space, passion. It says, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. We've got getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Then you have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps. You're guided to take guided. I mean, it can't get clearer than that, right? We've got the spirit card. We got the pathfinder. Yeah, love endures. You, you, you're being guided. And then you got soulmates. And this is your soulmate. I don't necessarily see it as a soulmate. I see it as a soul connection. So it could be twin flame soulmate, any kind of divine counterpart, any kind of soul connection you have so this is confirmation yes this is a higher soul connection and that kind of like also explains the shadows we have here because soul connections yes they do come for the happy ending but they come to clear stuff and karma first and we have to learn to shed our fears and so we do have eight and nine of swords trapped in fear and suffering in silence and it's funny, I just did a pick a card reading yesterday. I not, not, don't know when I'm going to um, upload that, but the same cards came out and it was overall an amazing reading, really, really good. But those two cards came out and what I saw is, look, there is this darkness here, but there's already light coming in. And even here, we do have the sun rising. And look, it's like this sun, the nine of swords <laughs> is already lighting up the eight of swords and this reminds me because nine comes obviously after eight and what I just got is it has to be good in your thoughts first because this card is overthinking but once you learn negative once you learn to see it as if it were there you know you have to be kind of like living in the future nine comes after eight but still nine is lighting the light into eight right that's what we see here so what it means is you have to step into the energy of what you want to experience so that what you have on the inside, like the future that is on your inside, can then shine on your now. Does that make sense? You have to see it in your inner mind to make it a present. You have to visualize your future to make it a present. <laughs> Number nine is future and it will shine into the present. But it has to come from the inside in your thoughts, law of assumption. But both of these cards, they have darkness, but the light is already coming. So don't you worry. And here's the same thing. It is stepping out of darkness into the light. So if you're worried, um, also this card means leaving something behind. Discontent and boredom. And what you leave behind is not this person, I believe. Maybe for some of you, you leave this person behind to attract somebody who's way, 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 way better, who is this soulmate and whom you have a very close bond, even closer than with this person. That could be a message for some of you. For others of you, I'm sensing that you are learning to leave behind this fear and you are guided to union with this person because here we do have love endures so spirit is telling you not to give up but you are called to make some actions but those actions are not towards your person it's not going chasing no you trust you you follow your guide and spirit is doing that for you spirit is taking care of that it is only your job to be authentic who you are and this also means be authentic to what you want to be you manifest if you want to hold on with your to your person spirit is telling you you can't have it just be authentic just don't act out of the ego don't act out of the fear of lack and abandonment because that is not authentic to who you are that is authentic to what your ego is and your ego is acting out of fear but you're called to be authentic which means connecting to your higher self what we have here trust your higher self and then here your instincts your higher self is talking to your instincts is guiding you through the situation and then you're going to find the right path by trusting your instincts by being authentic to your things that you, instincts that come from the divine into you and not the stuff that comes out of the ego and then you will you see the little light in front of this boat it's like you are going to be guided and 
the guidance you will receive, you will be called to some kind of action. I don't know yet if this action is going to be acting towards your person making the first move. It could be. I'm going to explain to you in a second why I think it could be, but often it is not. Um, it could be because sometimes we have beliefs like, okay, this is the only way it could happen. Then spirit is giving that to you. But the thing is, if you ever get the impulse on acting and reaching out to your person, it could be, it, it, it does not come out of the ego. You know, you need to check why do I want to reach out? Do I want to reach out because I have thoughts like, oh my God, I have not talked to them in that long. They may have forgotten about me and if I'm not reaching out now, maybe I'm not talking to them for forever. That kind of energy is not going to lead you anywhere because that is the trapped in fear and suffering in silence energy. And you will stay in darkness in that energy. But if you have the impulse of reaching out, and it could be, for example, I'm just saying an example, it's their birthday coming up. And I'm not saying you automatically should reach out to your person's birthday because if you are in this negative energy, then I would advise you to not do it. But sometimes it can be like a lighthearted energy. And if you have like this energy of like, I want to reach out and it feels good, it is lighthearted, then it might be that your impulse that does not come from your ego, again, not out of fear, but from your higher self could be, yes, you are called to reach out right now. Why did I say that? Because we do have the Kugel, be bold and take charge. And also we do have um, make the effort and with passion I also get like this impulse. You get this passionate impulse and then you act on it. So this is a thing that may happen. Otherwise, once you are in your energy and you're trusting your higher self and your guidance, then your person who is standing with you will feel guided to reach out to you and then your person is going to make the effort and where is this going to lead it is going to getting to whoop, getting to know each other and if you say you already know them yeah but maybe you get to re-know them you know because you have changed in the meantime you are evolving so you are going to meet a different version of each other with this card so as you reveal your innermost self to each other, your bond deepens. Yeah, what I'm also getting is maybe you have never really revealed your feelings, your emotions. You were kind of like wearing a mask and now this mask gets off. And for the first time you do talk about, yes, I do feel there is some kind of soul connection and I do feel very passionate about you and I want to have this with you. And you know, those two cards here, the deer and the eagle, when it comes to connect to your higher self, this also to me highlights that it might be some kind of soul connection. I mean, we do have soulmate here as well, because in those kind of connections, we learn to connect to that part of us that is often happening when we do connect to this. And then we do have love and doors. Again, spirit telling you not to give up. And it's not just that, yeah, we have with getting to know each other that we're going to reach a new level. Also, of course, we get the scroll, get ready for big changes, preparation, mentally prepare yourself for a big change. But again, that big change can only happen once we have dropped the fear energy, the fear and the suffering in silence. If you have learned to move away from those shadows. I don't know what he's got in his hand there, but I just like in my mind heard like compass like a compass is that the right word yeah right wait that's the, the little thing that shows you where north is and south and west and east and i don't know if it is a compass it's just like what popped into my mind and what is a compass it is helping you to find your path it is helping you to find your way so i just saw this as another in confirmation that you are being guided to and then remember the little light here on the boat you are being guided where you need to be but you can only connect to spirits and your higher self once you release the fear energy because fear energy is very low vibrational and your higher self cannot reach there so you have to get a little bit higher to give your higher self a chance to meet you in the middle and to connect with you and then to basically lead you so yeah i am seeing that there is 
changes coming, especially with moving on. Get ready for big changes. I don't know if you're the one who's going to make the efforts that could be different for some of you. It might be you who's getting the impulse for other use. It might be your person. However, making the effort definitely, definitely means do your inner work. Make the effort to get out of this energy and to leave stuff behind that is no longer good for you. You are called to do that, to move on from any kind of negative and lack mentality thinking. So you are called to make the effort when it comes to that. But I don't know for you specifically if you are called to make the effort on reaching out or if that is your person's job. But yeah, we do have the soul connection and you are going to get to another level and maybe also start this physical connection. Or if it's already a physical connection, it will change into the more emotional, you know, like spiritual connection with the eagle and the soulmate card. So that was your reading. I hope you liked it. If you did, show me by liking, by subscribing by sharing and please let me know do you like this kind of reading or do you like it better the way i did my other pick cards i'm most likely going to do the old way <laughs> but maybe occasionally i'm going to do it like this i'm just you know wearing a little makeup because i just filmed some of the coaching videos for my other channel and then i was like very spontaneously oh, let's do another one i didn't feel like doing another coaching video but I very spontaneously decided to do that. So let me know what you think. If you want personal coaching, then of course you can reach out. I would be looking forward to hearing from you. And also there is free coaching on my other channel. And I see you there and I wish you all the best. Now bye-bye. Pile number three. We have this rainbow quartz, I believe it's called. So let's see what message you have. My voice is kind of like <laughs> always gone. I've recorded so many things today for clients. I've recorded something. And then, of course, on my other channel, I recorded some videos. So but we can make it through another pile. <laughs> so while I shuffle, I would like to remind you, yes, I do have another channel. It's called Magic Soul Ascension Coaching. And that other channel, it is about Twin Flame and Soulmate Astrology. So if you want to find out, is my person maybe my Twin Flame or what kind of divine counterpart could it be? What kind of connection do we have? And also, if you're more interested in, can we tell in astrology if it's like a Twin Flame or not? Check out the other channel. Also, I do have coaching in the other channel. Twin Flame Coaching and Manifestation Coaching. I am a Certified Law of Attraction Coach, so you can check out that and also i want to tell you i am working on what oh, this one came out badger it came out in the last pile too <laughs> i'm currently working on a free twin flame union manifesting course that i'm going to upload in the other channel and there's going to be one video per week i don't know exactly how many videos yet and they're going to be for free and we're going to talk about how to do your shadow work, like also practically what can you do to get to union. But there is going to be a paid version of this where you have instant access instead of one video per week. And also there will be a little bit longer videos. The, the free ones may be a little bit edited. There will be additional videos. There will be meditations that are extra and a workbook and a paid version. And it is going to be a, how do you say? like a better version, better, better version, not, not better as in worse, but better as in alpha, beta, <laughs> a pre, a trial version that will be a little bit cheaper, like 33% cheaper for a couple of weeks. So if you subscribe to the other channel, you can of course get either the free class or you have access to the better version that is going to be cheaper. Also, for um, the pick a cards or the divination, I have a special offer only for June where you can have your energy checkup, a 15 minute energy checkup between you and your person for $20. So this is a special, special offer price only in June. So if you've always wanted to have a reading with me, now is the right time. <laughs> so come on. Is there another card? So maybe you only get one of these cards. No? Okay, there we go. And last but not least, the Romans Angels. Oh, 
that one jumped right out. Okay. What else? Oh, do you have another jumper? <laughs> also, please let me know. Do you like this kind of reading or do you prefer my old way? I'm probably sticking more like or less to the old way where you see the cards instead of me. But I just recorded a lot of um, videos for the other channel. Well, a couple, not a lot of videos. And I was already in makeup. So I thought very spontaneously, let's try this. Oh, you have some of the same cards from the previous pile. But you seem to be a little bit further ahead in your journey. But I haven't seen all of the cards yet. Mm. Oh, wow. Okay. So what you have is the Seven of Swords, Deception and Envy. Then you have oop, Fertility, which would be the Empress in this pile. You have the Ace of Swords, Triumph and Success. You have the Six of Cups, Memories of Love. I need to make a little bit more space. You've got Harmony, which is the Lovers. You've got Badger, Dig In and See Through Completion that came out in the last pile. You've got Otter, Surrender, Let Go of Control. You have the antelope decisiveness, make a decision and take appropriate action. You got the horse freedom, you always have a choice. Oh. Then you have passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. We got separation, a separation, time apart from your partners on the horizon, calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations and visualizations help bring you together. We have like attracts like. If you're longing for more love in your life, you need to be more loving or you need to love yourself. <laughs> we have love who you are. There it is. Love who you are. You are a divine empress. Yeah, you are a divine and wonderful person deserving all of the wonderful things that life has to offer. And uh, I saved this one for last. <laughs> True love. True love. This is a once in a lifetime love and you have the lovers too. I said it in the very beginning. This seems to be, you have some similar cards. The Before they had the passion card as well and they had the badger card as well. And energy, generally the energy is similar to the previous pile. But you are a step ahead, a whole step ahead. They had more negative thinking. You have one card of negative thinking. Yeah, and the other surrender. But wow. So deception and envy. There is some stuff going on in your head where spirit is saying those thoughts are not good. They don't manifest the way you like. Because if you focus on bad things, what are you going to manifest? Negative things. When you think of your person as being absent, when you think about separation, it cannot attract union. Because separation is over here, union is over here. When you're vibrating, when you're thinking separation, how do you want to get there? It's not possible. If you want to be in union, you have to imagine already being in union. And we have the Ace of Swords. First of all, it's called Triumphing Success. I mean, we got success. We got um, <laughs> see through completion. Completion can be seen as success. We got success here. Okay. And we got calling in your soulmate, which also says your prayers, affirmations and visualizations help bring you together. So you are called to, to make some kind of action, but not towards them. This action, it is a mental action. Ace of Swords, mental. It's a change of the way you think. It's a decision and also decision decisiveness. Make a decision and take appropriate action. What is the kind of action? Calling in your soulmate, you manifest them, you visualize, you do affirmations. And by the way, I do have videos on uh, meditations, on affirmations, etc. on my other channel. I forgot to mention that. Maybe that can help you as well. I do have one that is working with affirmations like I am in Twin Flame Union because again, if you want to be in union, you have to be in union energetically first. And I do have another one where you step into the energy of your person being with you in that moment. 
you're currently growing into the empress if you're a dude and you're the divine masculine into the emperor mode into the divine energy mode but by that you have to leave that behind because honestly divine energy does not worry divine energy knows i am a conscious creator i can't have got this the Empress isn't worried about, oh, does my person maybe not like me? She knows she's the freaking Empress. Every guy wants to be with the Empress or the Emperor. Obviously, I mean, <laughs> so if you inhabit that energy, then you will attract your person in. You will call them in because what is it? It is true love. It's the lovers. It is true love. But we also have love who you are. So there may be some self-love issues that need that you need to work on you see her heart chakra is glowing here it's healed and you see his heart chakra here is healed as well so it is about making a clear choice and then sticking to it because i'm feeling that you maybe send some scattered energy to the universe and the energy is like this universe is like what do you want but you can choose to be with this person freedom you can choose to free yourself from old baggage you can choose to free yourself from this kind of thinking because we have love who you are so work on self-love and what happens if you are in self-love like attracts like if you are in self-love you attract somebody you attract your person you call in your person your true love that shows you you are amazing you're lovable and then they can finally tell you they can't take off that mask and see they're already taking off that mask it's no longer over his eyes and then a person can take off their mask and finally show you that you are it for them so let go of control because this is basically what you're still holding on to you're holding on to your negative story and you're trying to control the outcome and the thing is you can absolutely control the outcome but not by acting in the 3d not by going to chase them not by trying to control anything but by doing it mentally you know again the ace of swords mentally and we have memories of love and what i'm getting with memories of love who says time doesn't exist that memory has to be a thing from the past you can think about love you can have loving thoughts exchange memories with thoughts loving thoughts thoughts about love imagine that they are already with you and that is what the universe will then understand and give you and because with the badger we have persistence dig through and see it co through completion be sure you you know what you want be decisive you know decision choice be decisive and don't worry about when and how it is going to happen because it is going to happen why is it going to happen because you two you are connected come on freaking lovers it, i know it says harmony in this deck but it is the number six it's the lovers and it is true love this is the love this love is a once in a lifetime love so if the separation is happening it's an illusion the separation is a deception because it's only in the 3d it's not in the medical physical there you still are together obviously yeah this also means step into this light-hearted energy because your person it they do feel this passion for you they do see you as absolutely beautiful gorgeous freaking empress obviously they love you they know they love you um with love who you are um just heard the message from spirit they know who you are they love who you are as well they know that you are the one they love <laughs> this is what i heard from spirit but it's like attracts like we have attracting law of attraction and um calling in your soulmate basically also means attraction you're ca you are called to attract them in to pull them in not to go chasing you will pull them in the empress she doesn't have to go chase for a guy no way the guy is coming after her because she's the empress <laughs> and she's the loved ones but right now i'm getting just be clear on what thoughts you're sending out because this is what I have with a choice. A choice is often like two things or at least two things, right? And I'm sensing this like sending out two different stuff, things. And also here, be clear, decisiveness, be clear on, on what you want. Clarity. My cat, you're not supposed to do that. Berlioz, Berlioz. 
he's not supposed to love walk over that and he knows that he exactly knows that he just never cares he's like yeah right next to me <laughs> You're going to end the separation. Look, we got separation and then calling in your soulmate. So this separation, if you are separated, it is temporary. As soon as you are clear with your thoughts. Oh, come on. This card doesn't want to be picked up. As soon as you're clear with your thoughts and you think loving thoughts, you will call them in. Because it is true love where's the true love card here true love and like attracts like which also means you attract what you, how, the way you see them you know if you see them as being absent you're attracting the version that's not able to commit if you see them as non-committal that's the version you attract if you see them as being overburdened with stuff they need to heal that is the version of them you attract so you need to see them in the light of um yeah you have to see them like you want them to be in order for them to actually be that do we have numbers we've got two threes a two 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 three now i'm not really getting anything with the numbers here sometimes i do sometimes i don't yeah yeah i'm feeling drawn to end it again with these two cards true love lovers so that's their message to you they love you they love you they want to come they're just waiting that your soul gives them the okay to come and not your ego your ego is like yeah come 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 but your soul you know your, your thoughts they are scattered so you have you know like this sword it's clear it's not scattered it's like one straight line and that's how your sword your thoughts need to become one direction it's like an antenna of an order that's getting to the universe and the antenna they will collect that signal and then they will come nice one <laughs> this was my favorite pile pile number three don't tell the other piles if you liked it drop a comment and claim this reading if you need help a little bit to get more out of this energy i am available for personal coaching and check out my other timeless readings and please check out my other channel Mashik soul ascension coaching i see you there until then i wish you all the best now bye bye